we are back thank you for rejoining me it is the second day of vlogmas 2022 and today i am sharing with you all my favorite christmas movies tv series basically like the fictional shows and the authors and the books that i just di digested consumed filled myself um with as a child as a young adult that influenced the kind of stories that i tell again this is shawnita in case you didn't know welcome to my youtube channel to all of my subscribers welcome back to new viewers hi how you doing um so when you're an author life for me as an author life is you know the muse it's where the the story ideals come from the characters kind of just introduce themselves. Sometimes they take over. It's a different topic for a different day. I blogged about it. Go to Shanita.com. It's there. But the TV shows that I watched were really influential in um, the kind of books that I wanted to write. I never really aspired to like, oh, I want to have my book turned into a movie. I mean, if Hollywood came knocking, hey, how you doing? But it was really always about the books for me. So that's what I write. <laughs> um, so, but the the characters that I encountered and met um, in in my favorite TV series of all time, Living Single, it is my emotional support TV series. Um, yeah, anything by Yvette Lee Bowser, I'm watching it. I'm studying it now because I know what I'm, you know, I'm doing it on purpose. But back in the day, everything by Yvette Lee Bowser was a hit it was a knock for the kid and i loved it um half and half different world she didn't do that one but it's on it's in the, it's in the roster let's stay together but my favorite show of all time living single like i mean that little lady on the windmill woohoo at the end uh, happiness on the screen absolutely wonderful um and those characters shaped a lot of the stories that I tell like I'm not trying to rewrite Khadija because you don't need to rewrite Khadija because Khadija's been done I'm not trying to rewrite Regine <laughs> I love me some Max but one Max is enough and Sinclair is a bubble of sunshine no one could ever really duplicate what that show taught me though and what what joy I found in watching these black women just go for it and um learn how to navigate their lives unapologetically is injected in every book I write um in every character I craft like there's a little bit of the inspiration from watching those women growing up with those women on Living Single and wanting to now I can't do what Yvette Lee Bowser did because I'm not her but wanting to have a positive um story legacy in the books that I wrote do I have some ratchet stories characters ratchet characters yes ratchet storm that's subjective do i have some ratchet characters i got a few I, well, they, they're like ratchet adjacent um but they're all redeemable the heroines i mean my villains are villains but um they are all like still like justified in what they think they're doing in my first series in the christian fiction series i was still a baby author back then um so vashonda <laughs> my first my first villainess oh she a mess she was now she was a chicken head um unapologetic deluded chicken head 100 percent. anyway um but she was also still successful she had a job she was handling her business she was paying her bills <laughs> i have not let shawnita move this whole time hey girl love your outfit oh so this is shawnita's himself <laughs> Would Shanita wear this sweater? Yes. Does Shanita have jeans similar to these? They're a little tight, but yeah, I got some jeans. Would I ever wear these heels? Absolutely freaking not. I don't walk around in heels like that. Mm -mm, her arches. Girl, your feet. You're going to have to stick your whole leg in the tub later to just walk that off. Anyhow, um, but that's neither here nor there. In The Sims, apparently, we do this. This is what we true. We not we not new to this. We true to this in The Sims. The clothes and the and the style, y'all, in this game is so adorable. Um, I salivate. Oh, let me compare these bills. I salivate um over 
the CC from Scentate. Oh my gosh, the Scentate is so good. So, so good, so good, so good. I mean, the clothes are, it's like, it's digital Barbie. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Um, it's better than Barbie because more than one person can wear the outfit at a time. <laughs> Thank you very much. But it, it, it is 100% the, the evolution of going from playing Barbie dolls um, or playing, you know, Bratz dolls or whatever dolls you played uh, in, as an adult. Okay, honey bun, can you do some work? Could you? Oh, are you, you need social again? Oh, you, you, you're not introverted enough for me, boo-boo. It's, it's giving, it's giving, you need to, you need to find a way to socialize without me having to come on here and talk to people. Anyway, so Yvette Lee Bowser, amazing, amazing talent. Um, and, and all the things that she put out in the world, um, I love to watch. Of course, A Different World, that wasn't her, but another just iconic show. And I wanted to be able to have um, similar stories and different success. I wanted to be able to show different um, expressions of the Black lived experience, but in a way where you can learn from it, you get, you don't have to aspire to it, like aspire to be your best you, but you can learn from it and you can enjoy it. You can get entertained, whatever you do when you read a book, th those are the ones that like influence me. Um, some honorable mentions. So all of the shows, uh, Living Single, I bought it as soon as it was available for sale on Amazon Prime, no shame. And um, half and half, different world, let's stay together. And Eve, I can watch those almost all the way through the whole series. Skip a few around on a few of them, but I can watch those 100% just back to back to back. Enjoy it 100% amazing storytelling. Not necessarily the same for Moesha in the house, all of us, smart guy, sister, sister, but those shows shaped me as well. Like, you're not going to tell me that Debbie Allen's character in in um, in um the house was not a boss. Like, she came up from nothing. Was she a little prideful? Yes. Yes, she was. Um, should she have taken more money from her ex-husband? Yes. Yes, she should. But did I fully 100% understand why she didn't? Yes, I did. And, like, I learned from her. And she taught me stuff. I don't know if everything I learned was good. But I learned from her. And, um, are, is your social up, boo thing? Because you're doing a lot of movement. Yeah, okay. You're very, I don't get this crunk uh, on the chat forums on the internet, but go off to himself. But, um, no, like, either of those shows, Moesha, like, I fell in love with Shirley Ralph on Moesha. They not only introduced me to great characters, but they also introduced me to, like, the actors and, um, and different artists that I've followed throughout my adult life. And this does they have a special place in my heart. So when you read my books, if you read my books, you're going to see characters that are ambitious. They're unapologetic about their ambition. And you just, I, just, I hope you will <laughs> enjoy them, you know, like just enjoy getting to know them and learning from them and living their lives with them. Okay, you can get off of here now. Your social is high enough. Go do so much yourself. Go do so much yourself. What are you, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Can you go jog? Go do so much of it. No, that's not jogging. Well, okay, first get off here. Oh, wait, no, no, don't get wicked on the whim. They, mm -mm. I'm not monetized, so they can't demonetize me. But, uh, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> we don't want to get in trouble. So, why don't you go jogging? And we'll just follow you with the camera. How about that? Um, sweet, sweetness. Sweetness. Where are you going? Oh, it's 7 30 at night. Okay. Um, ma'am, you are not. You are not. You are not about to run in this outfit. Do you know how bad you would hurt yourself trying to run in this outfit? You gonna you gonna put on you gonna put on an athletic outfit. Like you have the good sense that I created you to have when I created you. Cause you do what is this? Oh, that's cute, but that's not what we right now. Um, I need these. Okay. You're going for a run. This is the current outfit. This is not the current outfit. We're going to stop you from doing that. Just, just thank you. And no, excuse me, ma'am. Nobody told you. 
because yesterday you wasn't acting right and so now i have to you know what i'm gonna get back to the good stuff in a minute y'all now go jog go jog enjoy your ride okay yeah yeah if somebody is controlling you me i'm controlling you um can't i like click on you and you like do the thing and the camera follow you okay so yes um every though every one of those shows they were amazing um especially half and half like if, if, if i had to get like if i had to give it a a rating it's like living single and then it's half and half and then it's different world i know that's not even lee bowser but come on it's a different world and then it's let's stay together and eve um oh we just just stopped walking okay um and then again the honorable mentions moesha in the house all of us smart guy sister sister i actually like smart guy just a little bit more than sister sister don't tell nobody um and all of this was cute uh but mm, i couldn't watch it all the way through again it's like certain shows that i watch and i'm like certain episodes of the show and i'm like yes but the thing I love about all of us, that I love about all of these shows is the the unapologetic ambition, the fortuitiveness, like no one is giving up. Everybody is going for it. And even when things don't turn out the way they want them to turn out or hope they'll turn out, they still keep going. And that is the kind of, and they don't, you know, it's, it's just, they, I just, I like these shows. They, they just give me happy vibes. Um, and so, girl, why are you fussing? No, what do you, what, what can you do? Cause I'm not about to, I will turn these fears and wants off so quick, baby. And we're back into the hills. I don't think you tense from having fears and wants. I think you tense cause you heard me say, I don't wear these heels in real life. And you like, well, why you got me in these heels? Because I said so. <laughs> I don't tell my daughter I said so cause she's a human, but you're a sim, you're a pixelated thing and you will do what I say. Go calm yourself down. Mm -hmm. Calm yourself down. Mm -hmm. And if we need to journal, we can journal. Okay. We're elevating. We're in therapy. Get it together. But no, um, movies. Okay. So you heard about the TV shows that I adore and that really have impacted the way I write, and, you know, just how I like to pull together my characters. Um, but the movies I watch also like do a lot for me. Like, okay, so my favorite movies, Best Man Holiday. I can watch that all year long. I do watch that all year long. Um, Almost Christmas. It's not the holidays in this house until we watch Almost Christmas. Thank you. You gonna do that to my Shaka Khan. I love it. <laughs> Shout out Monique. Um, And because the stories of their chef's kiss, uh, some new releases are Girls Trip and Little amazing thank you um what are where are we at with our needs okay you should eat boo boo you should eat go eat go eat go just get some leftovers so you can go to bed because the level of ways i don't want to open social money thank you and then you're gonna use the bathroom then you're gonna go to bed oh you should probably wash your behind and things of that nature it's already 10 o'clock. We'll see how quickly you eat this food. Because sometimes the Sims be acting like you eat like a regular time. And then, oh, and then this happens. And you just eat it all in two seconds. What? In the what? Okay, and then you can do that. And then you can do that. And everybody's happy. We're going to give you some privacy. Look at you closing the door. Thank you, man. I'm such a lady. Um, But no, so really uh the other movies like that i watch that are favorites and that really shape the, the way i like the story tell but i don't watch all the time or like as much as i watch girls tripping little is um five heartbeats come on love jones <laughs> classic brown sugar the wood harlem nights <laughs> you shot my pinky though the best man um hot take the best man holiday is better than the original yeah, go off in the comments, like, have your moment, but it is what it is. The Best Man Holiday, if you know, you know. The Best Man Holiday is better than The Best Man. Then there's Set It Off, because it's, it's Set It Off. Come on, bro. And then there's Love and Basketball. Um, ma'am, did you wash your body? You did wash your... Okay, well, there you go. 
Okay. Hmm. There we are. Hmm. It happened. Anywho. Um, but these are like the movies and the TV shows that like really shape the stories I wanted to tell. They they really shape the kinds of characters that I enjoyed watching and engaging with and that I wanted to be able to like make for my readers. Um and I just like modeling those kind of women like outside of when I'm watching things, you know, why are you tense again? Girl, bye. Who wakes up like this? I don't wake up like this. It can get frustrating when a simple task keeps getting disregarded. What task keeps getting disregarded? Oh. Oh. I forgot about it. Okay, well let me let me let me let you live. Okay, let me let you live. This plate is stinking, so please clean that up. Okay, thanks. But please listen to your music, ma'am, and then do whatever else you need to do to feel however else you need to feel before I pluck you through the screen. Like, what are we doing? Uh, what what was happening? Okay, singer, songwriter, song. Let me let you live. Let me let you live. Please, please, please. Is that all you wanted? Seriously? That's all you wanted? Girl, bye the level of ways are you serious oh this game <laughs> this game be tripping from being a geek shanita's gathered so much evidence to prove who the best captain is no one could possibly refute as a geek shanita wants to have a nerdy conversation with someone the way this kind of slaps in real life i feel seen and spied upon by a game that i know is not spying upon me so we're gonna leave that there and just girl go get some food um but ma'am sir sir ma'am what do you mean shanita wants to have a nerdy i don't need to prove my intent moving on um so get some leftovers can you please go eat sweetie thank you um but these are the shows and the movies, the storylines, the kind of characters that shaped the kind of stories that I wanted to write as what, just a piece of bread. You know what? I would eat that in real life. Anyway. Oh, that's how I got the dunk. Uh, my favorite novelist, Toni Morrison, my favorite nonfiction author and um, poet is Maya Angelou, Dr. Maya Angelou. And, and while I wouldn't, I, I don't try to, and I would never aspire to replicate Toni Morrison. There is no other. Why we don't? The world doesn't need another. We already had the one. Um, Ma'am, no. Could you? Yes. Can you bop while you bop out and watch that dish though? Can you? Can you? Okay. Um, they they have shaped so much. Like I've read every Toni Morrison book. I need to reread a few. That's on my twenty twenty three reading list. But. Some other authors I've read before I began writing, who I know influenced me wanting to write more of the uplifting, more of the positive, more of the women's fiction, kind of chick litty books that I write. Uh, Zane. Okay, now, wait. So, Zane? I mean, okay, so she wrote erotica. And I and I read it in high school. That, 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 judge me. I don't care. It's your world. Do what you want. Leave it out the comments. Judge me in your head, not in the comments, because I will delete them okay but um zane zane's descriptions though oh, baby you, she gonna show you and she gonna tell you how good it felt but but it's it's good she she teaches really well how to show and tell in her erotica like from back in the day um i haven't read zane in easy 15 years but when i was in high school you could not rip zane's books out of my hands like i read them all digressing um, in high school and a little bit of college. Anyway, Tina McElroy, Anza, DeBerry and Grant. Oh, top of the list. Faith. Elin Harris, Omar Tyree. Yes, Fly Girl. Yes, all the, all the, all the insert early 2000s. Read them all. Eric Jerome Dickey. You wasn't telling me nothing. Best friends and lovers. What? Shut your face. 100%. All of his old stuff. Again, early 2000s. Those were the things that I was reading. Those were the books. And again, all of the, all of them, what are you doing? You're just going to stand there until I give you something to do because I have autonomy turned off because if I didn't, I would be in so much trouble. Okay. Hey, cuteness. Yes. Why don't you go to the library? That's a very shiny thing to do. Um, see if we can go talk to somebody smart at the libraries. Um, 
no no we'll meet all of them later um but these are the authors and these are the books that shaped and these are the television shows and series and movies that made me want to write about upperly mobile black leads they made me want to write about black women especially who did not give a crap about anything anybody had to say in regards to stopping them from achieving their dreams these are the women these are the people that were like doing it now did they always do well and right and perfect of course not that's what made the book good but they were absolutely a joy to read and i find so much satisfaction in writing the stories about these kinds of um women now again i write black women's fiction for my primary audience is black women because there's just not enough representation in literature um but also i give my black leads diverse friend groups um outside of my one and only natural hair series that was dedicated to black women all about black women um but even there they had some non-black characters they weren't totally horrible um <laughs> <laughs> uh, in my wholeness series and my Christian fiction series, it was a diverse, multicultural cast of uh, characters. And in all of my series now, moving forward, it's multi multicultural, diverse leads, uh, diverse excuse me, black leads with diverse friend groups. So writing about these characters and writing about um, these unapologetic women who have diverse friend groups in the Goal Power series um, and writing about them in the Wholeness series, my Christian fiction series. They were multicultural. There were multiple, you know, there, there was Latina, um, there were Caucasian, of course, there were Black, just different cultures and different ages represented. Why don't you come talk to Katarina Chastain? Katarina, are you, are you okay? You okay, girl? Okay. Where are you going? No, I need to talk to you. She needs to socialize. You have a purpose. Yes. Sit your mm -hmm, right there. Do oh, okay, glitchy are we? We <laughs> anywho. Who dressed you? I did not put that outfit on you, librarian. Anyway, um, but just these different oh hey, that's old girl's husband. Y'all gonna find out later. But oh she got a boo. Oh, and that's Mitchell Links. That is Rise mm. No, 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 no. That is Anissa's dad. Anissa from My Crown and Glory. That's her dad. Hey, Mr. Lynx. I created him. Um, he's from the book My Crown and Glory. Again, free on all platforms. <laughs> plug over. Shameless plug. It's my channel. I'm gonna plug if I want to. But um, get your social up. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Talk about your dreams. Didn't you need to like share? I'm gonna come back to the point I was making in a minute, y'all, but she needed to share. Why do you need to, oh, have a nerdy conversation with someone? What is a nerdy conversation with someone? What does that, what do you mean? All of the conversations are nerdy when you're a nerd. Um, <laughs> digressing. Ask about favorite author? Okay, why not? Um, but no, so all of these shows, all of these movies, everything that I just, um, expose myself to where are you going ma'am i was talking to you the disrespect hey mr mitchell can i talk to you because she left and i wasn't done getting my social up um and he's reading a book so i don't want to disturb him all of these things all of these people they just really um their stories and what they did provided so much of the foundation for the kinds of stories that I ended up wanting to tell. They gave me like a model for this is possible. This could happen. You can do this. And it just really, um, it really made writing better for me um, and has helped shape the way I write now and the stories that I want to tell going forward. Um, being able to just watch, let the Christian fiction writing be done and then looking forward to diving more into women's fiction and being able to tell full stories with the cussing and the fighting and the sexing and all the things that actually happen in 
life that you write about in fiction novels. That is the part that I like the most. And th that is the thing that I enjoyed uh, in a lot of these shows and living single and half and half, different world, let's say together, Eve, um, Best Man Holiday, all of the shows, all the books, most of the movies, they, they dealt with real things. They dealt with serious issues and they helped like you understand how the characters grew. And that is a big part of what makes writing fun for me. And um, of what, could you, can I get a little bit more socialization? I'm sorry, y'all, hold on. Give me, cause she acting. There you go. Um, and that's one of the things that I hope to like, just give a little bit to a reader. You know, if you read one of my books and you're like, oh, I mess with her, I get with her. Um, I hope that you're like, okay, do your thing, girl. And you can feel it, you know? So I hope this second day of Vlogmas 2022. <laughs> was interesting. Um, it gives you a little bit of a clue into what kind of storylines you're going to see um, with the Let's Plays that come from the characters from the Gig Power books. They're not perfect. They're not. Are you pregnant? Wait a minute. Excuse you. Hold the phone. Did I make you? Because, um, ma'am, who told you you could get pregnant? Oh, I did not make you. Continue on. Enjoy your baby. Um, but, um, sorry y'all, like, wait a minute, but, um, it's just been an absolute joy, uh, sharing this with you and giving a little insight, especially again, for every, for all y'all out there rocking with me, who've been reading my books for years and have seen me try to stop and start on this channel. Thank you so much for kicking, um, kicking strong with me, playing the Sims, being off camera after having to be on zoom and in meetings all day. It is, is a, it is just a joy and a refreshing thing to do. And I hope you'll keep kicking it with me as I do these 12 days of Vlogmas, day two in the books. And we get ready for day three. Um, I'm going to let that be a little surprise. I know, you know, it's an author vlog. And so we're going to start getting into the actual books part of it. I just want to give you some background, give you a little insight into where my storytelling influences came from, the kind of stories and the kind of characters that um, you're going to see Shanita write. Um, you may have heard me talk about my daughter in the last um, video, in the last vlog. Oh, we doing that thing where you're just going to keep moving after I paused it? Love that for us. Anyhow, um, she's not here because I respect her agency over how she's represented in the media, online. Um, my baby girl is not big on putting her face out there in social. She's adorable, so it's not because she's not cute, because she is. Um, but maybe she, you know, she's maybe a little introverted like her mom and we just aren't into it. We're not here for it, you know? So that's why in my vlog, you only see me. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, thanks for rocking with me. Be sure to, um, stay tuned. Uh, watch the shorts. We have another community giveaway coming up. If you're not subscribed and you enjoy, you want to see what's about to come down the pipeline. You just want to help me get to a thousand because I'm trying really hard, y'all. Um, <laughs> go ahead and hit that like button, sub hit the subscribe button, like, share, uh, comment. What kind of shows did you watch when you were growing up? Uh, have they had any influence if you're a creative on the things you like to create? Um, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next 12 days of Vlogmas video. Bye.